enjoyed the World Cup qualifying videos on this channel, head over to Patreon for some exclusive classic matches done in the same style. Last time on my World Cup qualifying videos, we were looking at the end of match day two in Europe, including this tasty little number from Robert Lewandowski of Poland. This time, I'm finally gonna do Asia. Their third round, part two, and we start in group B, where Saudi Arabia faced Australia, the King Abdullah Sports City in Jeddah. And we were only five minutes into the match when the home side opened the scoring thanks to a goal from Al Jassim. The Saudi Arabian lead was cancelled out however on the stroke of half time when Australia equalised through Sainsbury. In the second half, the Socceroos took the lead, Tommy Jurich getting the goal on 71 minutes. With just over 10 minutes left to play, Saudi Arabia made sure they would be sharing the spoils, Al Shamrani getting the decisive touch on 79 minutes, the final score was 2-2. Over to the Saitama Stadium 2002, next for Japan vs Iraq. In the 26th minute, a cheeky little touch from Haraguchi of Japan put the home fans in a very good mood and put Japan into the lead. However, on the hour, Iraq got their equaliser, Abdul Amir scoring a header from a set piece. Deep into second half injury time, Japan got their winner, Yamaguchi smashing it from outside the area, and somehow it went through all the defenders. Group B's final match day free game was between the United Arab Emirates and Thailand at the Mohammed bin Zayed Stadium in Abu Dhabi. The UAE were first to score, 14 minutes had gone when Mabkut scored with what looked like his belly. Mabkut scored again in the second half, this time using the more conventional foot to score in the 47th minute. The game wasn't over yet though and Thailand got themselves back into the game in the 65th minute thanks to this goal from Tana. In injury time, the United Arab Emirates confirmed their victory, passing about the box until Khalil finally hit the knockout blow. Final score 3-1. Thailand stayed in the Middle East for match day 4 as they went to the Pass Stadium in Tehran, Iran to take on Iraq due to security reasons. Iraq opened the scoring though on 7 minutes, Abdul Rahim getting the goal. In the 25th minute, Abdul Rahim got his second goal of the game. It was the third time lucky though, was the first shot hit the post, the second was saved, luckily it fell to him for the third one. With not long left of the game, Iraq made it 3-0, and it was Abdul Rahim again, getting his hat-trick with a tap-in on 87 minutes. Abdul Rahim though wasn't finished and in the 4th minute of injury time he chested in a 4th goal. Final score, Iraq 4, Thailand 0. Back over to the King Abdullah Sports City in Jeddah now as Saudi Arabia faced the United Arab Emirates. We were made to wait until the 73rd minute of the match for a goal, but it was definitely worth the wait with Al Mawalad scoring a beauty. We only had to wait 6 minutes for the next one, Al Abed making it 2-0 on 79 minutes. Great celebration there, and Saudi Arabia put the icing on the cake in injury time thanks to this free kick from Al Sheri. 3-0 final score. We end Group B's action in this video with Australia vs Japan at the Docklands Arena in Melbourne. And the match was only 5 minutes old when Haraguchi slid in the opening goal for Japan. Haraguchi went from hero to villain in the second half when he conceded this penalty. Milajedinak stepped up to take it and scored on 52 minutes. The final score 1-1 leaving the team second and third in the table respectively, though Saudi Arabia topped the group with 10 points. We begin Group A at the Suwon World Cup Stadium, where the, one of the last countries to host the World Cup in Asia, South Korea, took on the next country to host the World Cup in Asia, Qatar. It would be the home side opening the scoring, however, in the 11th minute, with a goal from Ki Sung Nguyen. Five minutes later, however, Soria of Qatar was bundled down in the box, giving them a penalty. 
Al Haidos scored it on 16 minutes. Just before half time, Qatar took the lead. Soria getting the goal this time on 45 minutes. On to the second half, and South Korea got their equaliser, Ji Dong Wong netting on 56 minutes. Two minutes later, and the tables turned once again. South Korea took the lead thanks to this great goal from Son Hyung Min on 58 minutes, and that was the final score, 3-2 to South Korea. China faced Syria next at the Shaanxi Province Stadium in Xi'an. The match was settled by a single goal, Al Mawa scoring on 54 minutes to give Syria a 1-0 away win. There was a similar scoreline at the Bunyodkor Stadium in Tashkent as Uzbekistan took on Iran. A first half Iran set piece allowed Hosseini to head home Iran's winner on 27 minutes. And we stayed at the Bunyodkor Stadium for match day 4 when Uzbekistan hosted China this time. And this time the home fans had something to cheer for, Bikmayev giving Uzbekistan the lead on 50 minutes. Those home fans were given double the reason to cheer with 5 minutes left to play, Shukarov scoring thanks to a massive deflection on 85 minutes. The final score, Uzbekistan 2, China 0. Syria travelled to the Jassim bin Hamad Stadium in Doha next to take on Qatar. And on their travels, the Syrians felt generous, giving Qatar a penalty in the first half. Al Haidos got his second penalty in two games to get the only goal of the game on 37 minutes. The final match of the video now as Iran took on South Korea at the Azadi Stadium in Tehran. And just like the last match, this game was also settled by a single goal, as Moon scoring on 25 minutes to give Iran the win. In the group standings, Iran topped the group with 10 points, Uzbekistan in second with 9, South Korea with 7. That's it for the video, like, subscribe, more to come, you know.